Well, today we're having beautiful weather and I'm so excited because I'm off to an estate sale. Let's go see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. This beautiful Weller vase was unfortunately broken on the top. This one wasn't, and nor was this console. I thought this ram was really, really cool, but I wasn't going to spend $25 on him because I didn't really know how much I could get for him. These guys are adorable. I think they would do really well at my new space that I'm getting in Silverton, Oregon at the Homestead Relics. I did a video on them before, so I'll go ahead and put a link to that one in this video or at the end of this video as well so you can see that store I'm moving into. I'm so excited. I had a bike like this as a kid, although it was from like the late 1970s with a basket on front. I thought this was interesting what they have done with this lone salt shaker or pepper shaker. It would be cute to put little flowers in it. <laughs> Funny little panda sneaking around the corner. If this were a Laura Caldwell video, she'd be playing her funny little music for the penguin ice bucket. I thought whoever made this embroider did a fabulous job, but the condition was just really poor. That's been my newest hobby lately, is embroidering. I thought this was just adorable, this little Portuguese little pot for $4. Well, this Smokey the Bear is well loved. I thought these shoes were pretty funky and fun. This is such a beautiful, looks like East Lake Chaise Lounge for $350. And this little footstool was cute for $8. I loved this rocker. It was $25. These swim goggles cracked me up. This was a little Holly Hobby stove. I didn't realize what it was at first because of all the stickers being gone. If it had been in good condition, I would have purchased it. And I thought my husband would get a kick out of this old wooden skateboard. You ask for half a cup of coffee? Well, here you go. I really liked the ornate carving in this chair. So here's my haul. So I got a couple of these hanger things for uh, my new space to put mugs or whatever on there for $2 each. I got this $4 uh, monkey pod wood bowl. I got these cute little pictures. It's, I really bought them for the frames. So I was thinking what I might do is just do an embroidery and put it in there over these pictures so I don't ruin them and they go with the picture. So if someday I sell them, somebody will find a treasure inside. I found this green depression glass compote 
for five dollars. This one's listed for $99 and then this one's listed for $14. So big difference. I got this cute little magnet. The future isn't what it used to be. I just like the owl on it. Uh, this little thing for a dollar is for keys. So you put your key in there, you screw it in there. If you don't want it on a key ring. And then this little coin purse, I just thought was adorable. It has slots for your coins, which I thought was really neat. And it was $3. I thought this was hilarious. You asked for half a cup for $2 and you turn it over. It's just a half a cup. I just thought it was funny. This little pair of owls, they were $6 for the set. Rosaline, California. This little Portuguese pot for $4. I just thought it was so pretty. The blue, I really like it. It reminds me of uh, Tanala in a way. This cute little bird for $6. I just thought it was so spring and pretty. I might, I might just keep that and put it above my sink as a ring holder for when I do dishes and what have you, but I'm afraid my cat might break it. She's gotten up there and broken other things as well. So we'll just have to see about that. This funny little poodle for $2. I just couldn't pass him up. Sarah, my friend, found him. And she also found this beautiful like Egyptian-looking pottery that was $15, and it's a product of Italy. And... Those, I think you can get, there's comps on them for like $30 all the way up to like $100. So I got that for my new space. I got the cooties. Got this little game of cooties for $4. I thought it might be fun to set up a couple of these bugs in the space too. And some super balls. $4 for that bag seems spendy, but it was just kind of a spur of the moment thing. Nostalgic for me. I also got this planter for $2, signed by the artist. Thought I would put some like macrame in the string holes. This cute little skirt. I don't know if it will fit me or not, but I figured I would just sell it. And if it doesn't sell, then I can figure out something to do with it. But it doesn't have a size in it, but it looks very small. And I'm, well, it does have a size in it. Interesting. Doesn't have a size in it. I got this shelf for $5 for the new space. I'm going to clean it up. I thought I might paint it, but I might just leave it this color, but I don't like that right there. But we'll see what I, I thought it might be pretty to even toll paint it. And then this cute Afghan for $5. So that was my haul from the estate sale. Well, thank you for watching my video. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, maybe you could give me a like or a thumbs up. And if you like this content, maybe you could subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. I appreciate every one of you who already are subscribers. Thank you so very much. Bye-bye.